We are just outside of Carson City, Nevada at the family property. Um, it's been in the family since the early 60s and you know, there's a ton of dead wood up here. I come up here and try and help Stevie get the property cleaned off a little bit and instead of using a chainsaw to get trees down, he gives me a nice dull ax. Ow! Should have brought my helmet. Yeah, smoked it. That's how you do it, Dave. The uh, legend of Steve Mason teaching me how to cut down trees with a dull axe. Need a hand, Stevie? You want me and Dave to see if we can just lift it? And you can throw... Or do you want to lift it up with Mike and I'll pull yeah. it? Yeah, maybe we'll do that, just so you know what you're doing. Ready, Dave, one? Just the yeah. Are you? <laughs> Thanks, Dave. It's good. Just like, oh, hard on my fingers. Okay. Perfect. How? Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, dude. That's. I know. I got my gloves in my truck too. <laughs> this is the original race rig for the Masons. You know, we didn't have the kind of money to have motorhomes and all those fancy campers and stuff. So this legit went on the back of my dad's pickup truck. We had a little enclosed trailer and man, we took this thing everywhere. This used to actually be a sleeper. Me, my dad, you know, Dustin Miller's been in this thing. We used to just camp at the racetrack, sleep in that little tiny area, which looking at it now is pretty crazy, but that was like some of the best times of my life. She's going, she's going bye-bye now. Unfortunately, my dad's getting rid of it. It's been sitting in the yard for a long long time since probably the late 90s so it was time but kind of crazy when you come out here and look back at it and just think how much stuff we did how many miles were traveled in this thing it's pretty cool my first ever place of racing that's where i started my career silver state raceway it's a subdivision now awesome hi adam hey mike what are you doing then I'm gonna hang out and watch you ride. You drove all over here to watch me do the same I'm doing you're it for watching me do it for I'm 15 doing it for years. Dave, I'm not doing it for you. <laughs> <laughs> this was Dave's idea. Oh, maybe it'll motivate me to ride a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, because you really need that. Dude, are you kidding me? I don't even ride anymore. Dude, you ride all the time. No, I don't. I, Adam, I follow you on social media. Just because I'm posting pictures doesn't mean I'm riding. Dude, you must have a million pictures of you not riding. Dude. Your bike Outright? was just on the stand the other day. Uh, yeah. Out there. I got a flat tire though. Yeah. Pretty kind of pumped. Mm -hmm. What's another coffee? Mm -hmm. Midday coffee. Dude, it sucks. It's disgusting. I know. Hey, you need to hurry. You got about an hour. Huh? You got about an hour. You think so? Yeah, yeah. Look how high that thing. Dude, it'll go quick, man. Yeah. Earth's spinning really quick. That's pretty cool. We got done at like noon. We're really doing this right now? Yep. Have a good day. Me. <laughs> By we, I mean me. The practice trick list has gotten shorter and shorter over the years for Michael. <laughs> Mike, do a super can. No way. I don't do those anymore. <laughs> Man, I wish I was riding. Beautiful afternoon. Let me know when you do a JOD flip. Okay, give me a sec. Are you going for it? JOD. Yeah, do a good one. That was suspect. I'm a riding coach now. Good job, Adam. It's really nice.
Pushed out my stomach too far, dude, and an organ slipped. I thought I was gonna have fun today. We're having fun. Let's trade positions and see how much fun you're having. And do something new. I can't even do the old stuff right now. Huh. Struggling for the old stuff, dude. Do a holy grab. Do you wanna see a holy grab? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna take a couple jumps. You asked for it. I did. Put a little pressure on him. Here we go. He's lining up the ramp. He's going for it. Oh, he's got to warm up to it. Feel it out. See, for me, it's a no-brainer. Too easy. Here we go, Dave. You think he's got it? <laughs> oh, my God. What was that? Did I do it? No. Dude, did you see how long I let go of my hands for right Why'd there? Why'd you look over when you grabbed? Because I'm looking at my my shadow up there to see how high my legs are. <laughs> how high were they? So sick, dude. Uh, hey, Mike. How'd he do? The fact that he even tried them, I'm pretty happy. Because usually when I was out here riding, he would never do them. And I'm like, dude, just try. And then oh he's, all, my God. he's all, dude, try a double grab flip, dude. Try a switchblade flip. And I'm like, hey, try a holy grab. He's all, no. And I'm like, well, then why do I have to do that stuff? That first one actually scared me. Did it? Weird, because my feet were basically still on the pegs the whole time. I'll give you an A for effort, though. <coughs> Dave, you ready for this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you ready? Yep. Wind. That was wind. You get it? No. It's like spinning around up here. <laughs> oh. We got it. <laughs> oh. It's tiring. <laughs> Speaking of six feet tall, how about a tall Coors Light for dinner? Huh? Dude, what about Amarillo by morning? That day got away from us. So Holy bad. shit, that was so fun for like 25 minutes. Yeah. And then once again. I was hiccuping in the corner, dude. Yeah. Jeez, man. See why I'm taking the month off? I just gotta, I gotta clean it up once in a while. Yeah. Oh, dude, first try. I think I got my first guitar in 2007. And I played quite a bit, but you know, like the first couple of years, you're really just trying to learn everything. And... I never really got serious about it. And then in 2014, um, main event, which is the Blair Brothers, you know, they'd been making a bunch of music and we kind of all decided to like just make the band kind of work. And I actually hopped in, and that's when I started getting like really serious. and. You know, I'm just more of a rhythm guy. I've always just liked palm muting and stuff way better than like 7,000 twinkling little notes solos. So. But yeah, I love rhythm and you know, it was fun doing the main event thing and now we kind of just mess around and make some music here and there. And I'm almost 40 years old. I'm not trying to go out on the road and be like in some gnarly band. It's just kind of fun to come in here, especially if it's snowy or rainy or something during the winter and need something to kill the time. Just hop on the guitar and play some tunes. Yes, nailed it. <laughs> that was pressure right there. <laughs>